Okay, welcome to the world of Joan. And today I want to show you the St. John Ward plant. Now the thing is, we all know for the mood swings. But did you know that they make a sap out of the leaves and the flowers? And turn around and use it on burns, cuts and scrapes, and even insect bites. So we think of St. John Ward as something for mood swings. So this here is another flower that you need to put in your garden. You can see right here, I'm hoping I can get in there a little bit. It has little spots on it. It has like a rough edge around it. It uh, has these little uh, tentacles that comes out of, as you can see. This here is the leaves, as you can see it here. Here's the type of leaves here. These grow along like sidewalls and driveways and things. They seem to thrive in these areas here. You can see all these beautiful seeds here. Now I'm going to take a couple plants home with me. I'm going to try to transplant them. Um, and then again, like I was telling all of y'all, when you do your flowers next year, think about what the flowers can do for you. Not just because they're pretty, because this here is a beautiful plant. Not just because they're pretty, it is because they are also beneficial. Now these leaves here are awful small, so I don't think I could get a good vision for you on the leaf. But there is little spots in the leaves here. I don't know if I can get a good vision for it for you. It's like transparent little spots in them for the leaves here. So you can take the flowers, you take the leaves, you dry them. You can use them as a tea to benefit your mood swings and stuff. You can also turn around and take it and uh, make a, 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 a sap with it. Or you can make, and soak it in some oil. And make you like an oil substance stuff to rub on uh, on insect bites and poison ivory or burns or things in that area. And I don't know how good it work on the poison ivory, but you can try it. So, like I said, St. John Ward grows wild on edge. I was just lucky that I found this. Uh, so, that's what I'm telling you. When you stop looking at these plants as just weeds and you start looking at them as a flower... Uh, as a benefit to you whether it's edible or whether it's uh, medical you know tomorrow next year what's going to be going in my garden three of the plants so far is day lilies remember they're edible and beneficial and inflammatory also i want to put uh, plant some black eyed susans for the medical benefits and i want to plant some saint john wards in my garden also for its benefits as well when you start thinking of your plants as a benefit not just a pretty flower what you can do because we don't know what's going to happen like i said you can tell by the little flowers i suggest you take some pictures look it up in your books get you some nature books on all this stuff here you know make your scrapbook up of all of this here of plants that you know that you recognize and the benefits of them when you do your jars or dry herbs and things put a label on it and what this here is for specifically so you know so from the world of Joan, telling you something you didn't know about St. John Ward. And I want all you fine folks to be safe, be happy, bless you all.